radar. The sun is shining. I'm so happy about that because they have predicted rain. So I've come here super early to try to meet people and see as many awesome sea tents because I'm here at the Sea Tent Track Nationals. How's it going, sir? Great. Love what you've got here, 1974 Stepside. Yes. So tell us, how long have you had yours for? I've got it from my sister in 1985 and I totally redid it in 95. It's been painted for 28 years, 350 Chevrolet, lowered, it was painted in Gossel, Kansas. So when you got it from your sister, it was still in drivable condition? Yes. Yeah. How it, was, it was a three-speed, on the column, six-cylinder, Scottsdale pickup. Nice. So I changed everything, put power windows in it, a 350, 700R transmission, and had it painted. And it's, this is what it looks like today. I love the grills. The thing with the C10 trucks is the grills always show the difference in the different years, right? Yes. So this is a 74 where they got a lot more rectangular and flatter. Yes. This is a steel grill. A steel grill. Aluminum steel grill. And you've got Wilbur there on the plates. Tell us about yes. that. <laughs> My sister bought this truck new. She always named her vehicles. And so it has always stuck with this truck. So everybody back in Kansas, where I'm from, knows it as Wilbur. Knows it as Wilbur. So it sounds like you guys are a big car family. Yes, uh, yes. <laughs> and um, before this, you were telling me you've got a Pro Street as well. Pro Street, Monte Carlo. Monte Carlo. 1976, that I bought brand new when I was 18, and I still own the car. And you still have it. Yes. That's the stuff that we just love. We just love to hear that. But hey, let's have a look more at the 74. Let's have a look at the interiors. Everything is done up. I'm loving the paint. Can't believe this paint is so old. It looks so new. Oh, nice. Did they, they have the wood grain in 74? Yeah, it did. Silverados had wood, wood, the wood grain trim. Scott Downey in Wichita, Kansas did the interior. Very nice. And what is it about the step sides that you like? She just, my sister just had it and yeah. I love step sides and I've just held on to it. And what is it about them that you like so much? They're just unique because they're step side. It know, definitely gives like, you that classic truck look. Yes, truck, right, yeah. The bed is, the bed was uh, done the same year the truck was done. Wow. Marque. Out of Oklahoma City is where you get the, the wood bed trim. It looks like it's just been done. Yes. The paint looks like it's just been freshly painted. Yes. <laughs> so where do you store these? <laughs> I keep them in a building. I don't, okay. I don't, don't take drive them out much. I don't drive them much. But I drove I drove down here from Wichita, Kansas, 500 miles nice. in the rain. In the rain, in the yes. rain. Well, I hope for your sake and my sake, that the rain stays away today. Yes. But we're still going to have a good time. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely loving the orange color in this. Everything all original, including the seats. So we're definitely going to have a chat with the owner, get him to come in and tell us exactly what year this is. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Come on over here, you've been shining this all day. That's why it's looking so phenomenal. No, no. All right, mate, introduce yourself and tell us what have you got. I'm Greg Harris from Knoxville, Tennessee, and I've got a 70 model CST pickup with a factory big block bucket seat truck, pause attraction, a loaded up truck that you hardly see anymore, but it's it's one of those trucks that's just so unique because of the color and the combination of options. That color, that color would stop anybody. It, I hope it does. It, well, it stopped me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, come over here, Greg. You've got a few, fair few original pieces to this car. Well, every piece of chrome is NOS. 
original General Motors. There's no aftermarket parts on this truck other than the brake booster itself. That's it. That's the original bucket seats that's never been covered. Wow. It's a 49,000 mile truck. So I started with a good piece when I started. 49,000 miles. And for all of us who are out there and we're trying to find trucks, how on earth did you come across this? I got very, very lucky. I was driving down a road in Knoxville and all I could see was the hood and the grill sticking out of a carport. Wow. And the gentleman who I bought it from, it had a white camper top on the bed and a rubber mat inside the floor. And that's why the so bed that's floor- that's why he protected that's it. That's why he protected it. He didn't do much with this truck, but basically haul his groceries back in the day, you know? Wow. You and really did get lucky. I did get lucky. I you know, did. when you first told me that, Greg, I thought, you know, because you're in the car world and you do car shows, you know, Corvette Expo, you're part of it as I'm well. Corvette Expo, Chevy's in the Smokies. Chevy's in the Smokies. I do the Pigeon Forge Rod runs also. So I'm into cars, but this is my passion. But you found this just as any other ordinary person driving along. Driving along, any other person, and I had to have it. You I brought it home and then I, I decided I would restore it to what General Motors would be proud of. Before we look at this, this is not the only truck you have got. No, I have multiple vehicles from <laughs> K5 Blazers to a 55 Cameo, a 57 Cameo. I have Chevelles. I have other cars because that is my passion. That's your passion. That is my passion is cars. It, it really is. That's why you do the car shows and you're a Chevy guy. I am strictly a Chevy guy. Strictly a Chevy. Strictly a Chevy. There's not a Ford in the that? house. Did you guys see that? A strictly Chevy guy. Now you will know that next week I'm going to the F100 Grand Nationals. You are and I'm going to the good guys show. And you're going so. to the good guys show. <laughs> Well, I'll be there as well, but it's it's going to be a lot of fun seeing all you Chevy guys here. Yes. And then chatting up with the Ford guys next week. Right. A lot of fun. Yeah, a lot of fun. Strictly Chevy guy, come and tell us. Let's have a look here. Did you paint this? Yes, this truck has been completely frame off restoration. Every nut and bolt has been touched. It is a factory big block truck, 49,000 miles. Now, I've not gone through the motor because there was no reason. I put valve seal guides in it. Put, valve, put a valve cover gaskets on it, check the oil pump, time and chain, and it looked great. I put it back together and detailed it. There was nice. no reason to rebuild it at that kind of mileage. What for? What for? There was no reason to spend that money. 49,000 miles. Yes, I mean, it's still, it still ain't broke in good. <laughs> Factory air was still the R12, not the, not the... And what was the year again? This is a 1970. A 1970. Tell me about the grill at the front here. This is an NOS grill, of course, inner and outer. Um, just like you would purchase it back in the day or at the Chevrolet dealership. Okay. They have the Chevrolet sign at the front yes. like this. Okay. Those are factory bumper guards. Dog dish hubcaps or wheels with I mean, steel wheels with dog dish hubcaps. Is and that you can, a Harley orange? That is that is hugger orange. Hugger orange. And you can look at the frame. The frame is as nice. Oh yeah. go inside you can see how nice it still is. I love the wood grain here. Now these seats are original. That is the original bucket seats. I didn't cover them because they were in too good a shape. Wow. There was no reason to. I mean the gentleman I bought it from he took care of this truck. Now I did replace the carpet but that is it. And I love how the orange is just continued on here. Yes. You didn't want to do it a different color. No, I didn't want to two tone it or anything of that nature. No. And it's like your, it's your orange truck. And the bed floor is, is immaculate for what it is. And you really did want to make General Motors proud because you've still kept the fuel tank in the original oh, yes. position. Oh, yes. Behind exactly. the seat. Exactly. That doesn't scare you? No, that doesn't. No? It works. Why, it worked for 25, all those years. Why change it? I don't know. I'm just feeling like no, I mean, driving. I, I would be a bit nervous just well, having no tank behind me. Okay, if you put it in the bed floor, it's still behind you. It's still yeah, on the floor, it's still well behind said. you. So, I mean, well said. I mean, if you get hit in the rear end, I think I'm more protected here than it I am back there. If you get hit in the rear of the vehicle. Because I got all this metal in between me and a frame. So I'm actually more protected with being in the cab. My personal okay. opinion. That does make sense. Make my personal opinion. That does make sense. And what about the back window? Did that, was it like that in 70? That is the original back glass. Okay. Cargo light and all. The because original, during original, that, stain, original stainless and all. In 70, 71, 72, there was different back windows. They had the triple window. You had a slider rear window. Yeah. Yes. But that is a solid glass window truck. I love the solid glass. I do too. Yeah. 
but music's a bit loud but again we've got the wood grain here it's beautiful all right so what do you think about the c10 track nationals as somebody who puts on car shows yourself it's a great show this is a great venue for someone to come out and visit and bring their vehicle i mean there's there's plenty to do here plenty of activities there's no reason not and it's a great city here too lots of places to eat and stay i mean yep. i like this town i kind of wish we, is nice. i wish we had this facility where i live you yep. know it would be great but you know it's hard to have everything well they're not just here they're over closer to us as well over at nashville oh yes the national super speedway i go yep. to it for the c10 nationals there uh, i've been for the last couple of years and i've enjoyed the show there and i'll be there this year it's awesome always good to see you good mate. seeing you thank you take care I love a good story coming past and having a look at this awesome beautiful sidestep c10 no idea what it is but we're going to find out from david exactly what's going on but i do know there's a story behind this beautiful brilliant blue truck how's it going mate it's good it's good i'm thank you for interviewing me uh this thank is you a... for having me because it looks beautiful and i love the fact that i just noticed you're wearing a matching shirt yes yes <laughs> I didn't realize that till I got out here today that it was the same color as the truck. Oh, it was not planned. No, it wasn't planned at all. Well, before we look in detail about the truck, first thing I want to know is how long have you had it? I've had this truck for about six years, five years now. Um, I got it from my grandfather who passed away. I actually gave him his last ride in his truck that he loved to the cemetery. Oh. We loaded him in the back and took him to the cemetery in it. Oh. Um, the truck's history, the story of the truck, my grandfather and a gentleman, uh, they worked together, they were co-workers, and the gentleman bought this truck brand spanking new and they carpooled back and forth wow. in it. Well, when that fellow passed away, my grandfather went to give his condolences to the family, and as he was leaving, he seen the back end of this truck sticking out of the shed behind the house. So he goes into the house to, uh, tell them a story, you know, about him riding back and forth with their dad and told them, you know, it's probably not a good time, but if you ever decide to sell the truck, please call me first. Two weeks later, they called him. They sold him the truck for $1,000. $1,000. Um, my grandfather, he got it painted at Mako, just an old cheap $1,000 paint job and, um, and did the wood bed in the back. Well, he got too sick to drive, so I took over driving responsibilities, keeping it running for him. When he passed, like I said, I took him to the cemetery in it. And then when we left there, um, I got married to Cindy a, a year or two later. My grandmother passed and it was deeded to me. My aunt and my mother let me have it. And then I've been through a, a, a nightmare restoring this thing back to factory as best I could. Well, let's, well, let's talk more in detail about that. But before we do that, your grandfather had this. So basically, there's been no other owners besides the Just friend. the three. Just the three. Yes, sir. Three. Three. Yes, ma'am. That's all right. Like I said, <laughs> I get caught, sir, all the time. <laughs> <laughs> it's no problem. And three owner truck. It looks great. Let's first have a look at your grandfather. And that's him there in yes. the picture. This is what it looked like when my grandfather brought it home. Okay. Wow. And I've brought it to this state that you can see now. And if you have any questions, just ask me. I have a lot of questions. <laughs> First of all, why was it so difficult restoring this? What was what was so difficult yeah. about it? Um, I would say waiting on it to get back from the paint shop, which took 13 to 14 months. Without your truck and without your grandfather's memory, it was just, it was tough. 13 to 14 months. Was it because there was a lot of rust in it? No, no, it's just, I told him I wanted it taken to the frame and completely redone. Okay. So he done everything on this. It took it all to bare metal and then brought it back. There was very little rust on this truck. There was a few spots, but not bad. So I really got lucky with this one. They did a great job. Oh, thank you. Because the paint looks amazing. Yeah, thank and you. I love the flakes as I was telling Cindy. Okay, what about that engine? There's th things in here that look original. That is the factory original engine. 
Um, the only thing I've done to it is pull it out, completely go through it, rebuild it, and put it back together. Wow, and what's the year again of the truck? It's a 1963. So that's a 1963 engine I'm looking at. Yes. I love it. I same transmission as well. And same transmission. I love finding this. This is a survivor. Yes. You've, and you've made the survivor look absolutely brilliant. Well, thank you. Who chose the color blue? You wanted to keep and honor the same color originally? This was, yes, this is the original color blue from 1963. Okay. The only thing I did different, it was solid blue, and I added the white to it. That's the only thing I did other than, but this is the original blue. And then I put the the uh, metal flake in it because my wife likes sparkle. She's got good taste. Yeah. Because with this blue and the sparkle, it just really goes, Cindy. Well yeah. done on the sparkles. <laughs> Was it? I didn't even know he was doing it, actually. <laughs> well, he knows your taste. He yes, knows you he like does. sparkles. <laughs> well done on the wheels. Just to compliment the white at the yes. front as well. But I'm loving the interiors. And I like where you have put the wheel. You don't see that all the time. Right. So I appreciate it every time you do see it yes. because it's a classic truck. Oh, yeah. And that's what gives it that, that classic look. Yes. To have the spare tire here. All right. So tell me about the name, Sudi 63. I own David's Chimney Cleaning Service here in the Fort Worth and West areas. And um, Sudi 1 is my personal vehicle. Okay. Sudi 2 is my work van. And this had to be Sooty 63, <laughs> right? It's a because 63 model. Because he's in the chimney. Yeah, he's in the chimney sweep. chimney sweep, so there you go, right? Love it. <laughs> love it. But look at the inside here. I love the cup holders. I absolutely really like that. I built that to match the bed because everybody needs a drink while they're out playing, right? And you didn't want to get rid of the bench seats, which I appreciate Correct. because I love the bench seats. But look at this, everybody. And the sparkles, and the, I'm going to call it sparkles, metal flake. Metal flake, sparkle, glitter, it glitter, doesn't matter. Whatever it is, it's continued on on the inside. I wish you would have caught us yesterday because he had one of his bowling shirts on from the 60s. And I had a 1960s um, petticoated dress on oh. with the tennis shoes. And we had pictures taken in front of the truck. It was so cute. Oh, Turned I, out lo really I good. love 50s and 60s fashion. So. It, it took it off because it was hot. Show us. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. Now, David, I know this truck fell into your lap because of your grandfather. Yes. But you've married the right person because, Cindy, it sounds like you like classic cars. I love them. My dad has about four or five of them. Yes. So, yeah, he had, I think his, when I was about three or four, was a 68. Okay. And so I rode around in that with my dad my whole life. Yeah. Um, and then he bought my brother one. And now, he, now my two girls want their other, his other two classics that he has. So... Match yeah. made in heaven. Yes. It runs in the blood. <laughs> yes. It does. <laughs> Love it. Doesn't get better than that. What? Ab tell me about the bed. What have you done to the bed? My grandfather actually put this bed in here before he passed. Um, and all I've done to it, when I took it to the paint shop, I had him pull it out, sand it down, and refinish it. Just so that it's automotive and it won't uh, so it's tear the original up in the wood. weather. Yeah, no, it's not the original wood. Okay. No, it, it had to be replaced. It was rotted smooth out. Okay. Okay. So... No, um, this is awesome. Yeah. And there's no Bondo on this truck anywhere. It is a good truck. It was kept really well. Yes. And it was here in Texas? Yes. They tell you. 30 find miles it north. <laughs> if you can find a truck in Texas, then you found yourself a good truck. Correct. Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> Love it. Thank you so much, you guys. You're welcome. Thank you. Appreciate it. Oh, geez. Ladies and gentlemen, proposals happening at the C-10 Nationals. The